Hi there, I'm just going to make a quick video with my phone on using Future that is thinned with Windex to make a gloss coat. Now I don't usually use Future as a gloss coat anymore simply because uh, I'm working with acrylics and lacquer paints and it's generally best to uh, kind of stay in the same path when doing that and I don't need Future as much anymore because I'm not using enamels. So, uh, but, but Future does work and it's actually a pretty amazing product. So I'm going to show you a trick I learned many years ago from a guy named Pig Fleischman when he posted it over on the old Aircraft Resource Center site um, about, you know, how he was using Future. Um, I keep my Future in these little bottles. I mean, Future comes in these big bottles, kind of unwieldy and prone to spill. I just keep them in these little bottles right here. And then, of course, I make a cute little label so I can find it. Future is bright, you know, unlike some who claim it isn't. Um, and of course Windex, and then, you know, all the other modeling things that you would need. This is my spray booth, by the way. So, uh, I have a healthy flow of uh, air going here. So I won't be using a mask. But the, the first thing you have to do is you have to add Future to your airbrush cup. Actually, the reason I'm making this video is I made some comments on the Mediocre Modelers page today on using Future and uh, mixing it with Windex, and a friend of mine was not at all satisfied with my nebulous answer of uh, you filling up the airbrush and then uh, adding a few squirts of Windex. So I'm going to actually show you what I do. I don't have measurements, I'll just show you what I do. Now this is the airbrush I'll be using. It's an HP uh, CH Plus, and I've been using it for several years now. In fact, uh, the chrome liner is gone. It's all brass down there, so if you wear your brass out, or if you're worried about Windex removing your chrome liner, well, maybe you shouldn't do this trick, but to be honest with you, I don't think the chrome liner actually makes a difference. The airbrush performs fantastically. So the first thing you do is you just put Future in the cup, and I'm going to fill it about half full. And I don't know if you can see that, but that to me is about half full. Okay. Then we just take Windex, the blue stuff, two squirts. One, two. That's two full squirts of Windex. Now I gotta mix it up. And to do that, I use these uh, eyeliner makeup brushes that I keep around my bench. Yeah, just stir it up a little bit. Now, we are not gonna be flooding this on. This is going to be going on in very light layers. And the subject that we're going to be spraying is this um, hack model I've been using, which is an Airfix ME109E in 72nd scale, and currently it's painted in um, AKRC paint with, um, let's see the wings aren't, aren't even on, AKRC paint with uh, this uh, Galleria varnish as a flat coat, and, uh, and you know, it's, it's, it's pretty flat, so this will be actually a good demonstration of, of how to uh, do this test. Okay, so I have my airbrush set at about 18 PSI. Um, I'm, I'm just going to loosen my needle so I don't have any, any stop. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to test on my page because what you don't want is you don't want it to run. Okay, I better move that Q-tip just a second. Okay, and we're just going to do very light coats right at the model. I mean, this is going on almost like a dust. I'm not flooding it. My lazy Susan helps me tremendously. So the paint doesn't have time to build up. We keep moving. We don't want to get any build up. Make ridges or... Hopefully the photo is showing this. You don't need a lot. I mean, it's just a little bit. And this this is going to create a, uh, a gloss coat that will, when it dries, it will be fairly hard. But again, Future is somewhat susceptible to decal solvent, so you still will have to be careful. Maybe you can see the shine. 
Anyway, that is a perfect flat or gloss. I mean, I, I don't know why people complain about this product. This is an amazing gloss right here. This is as good as any gloss I've, I use. The only drawback that I can see to future is it is susceptible to acrylics over the top. If you do a, an acrylic coat over the top of this um, later, or not acrylic, if you do a lacquer coat, not acrylic, um, like if you take a very heavily thinned Gunsy paint that's a mostly lacquer thinner and spray it over this, it will create massive problems. That is one of the downfalls of Future. So if you're going to use Future, you want to be kind of careful what you put over the top of it and how you put it over the top of it. Um, if you're going to use a lacquer thinner at all, you really, really, really want to be careful because I have ruined models before because of this. And uh, that is a fact about Future. That is no doubt. So, whoops. I just dropped a big drop of Future right in the middle of it. That's the other thing you better be careful of is sloshing your paint cup around. But since it's my hack model, I don't care. Okay, so that's like uh, about as good as gloss coat as you're going to get from, from any gloss. I mean, this is just absolutely perfect. All right, so there's my six minutes of uh, how I use Future and Windex that was uh, originally taught to me by master modeler Pig Fleischman. Okay, thank you.